to another walkthrough with RV Wholesalers. Duncan here and Josh. We're going to learn more about the Rockwood Route 19 and maybe a little bit more about Rockwood Route in general, too. So, first question, what are these? What is, what's going on up here? Talking about the speakers? <laughs> that Bluetooth? Yeah, well, so it does come with a little sound bar inside. It's going to have multiple zones, right? So, yeah. basically, if, while you're sitting out here in front of the fire underneath the awning, you nice. get to listen to your jam. That's right? excellent. So, yeah, That's excellent. Cool. Okay, so why 19? Why Rue 19? Is there other options? Of course there are. Okay. So a lot of people really like this floor plan. It's simple. It's very compact. It okay. offers a lot of uh, sleeping situations. We're going to show you that in just a couple moments, right? Okay. Um, if the 19 floor plan is not for you, uh, you're in luck because they got about 14 others to choose from. Gotcha. Different floor plans, side. Um, uh, Maybe some with bunks. Some some with more. But so so this what uh, what we're, I'm going to show you behind this here is the hybrid, right? Gotcha. So it's going to have the tent pop out, um, which would be sleeping arrangements, right? So, um, but again, if uh, this particular one, you know, doesn't happen to suit all your needs, yeah. they have a lot of different floor plans to choose from. Rockwood's really on top of their stuff right now. Sweet. So, yeah. Love that. Let's check out the outside a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. So, we got the frameless windows here, right? Yes, sir. So, tell me about those. This They open from the top. Yep. And... So the, the older style, that really the benefit of this, they're seamless, okay? Yeah. So on a lot of the other windows now, they are uh, installed mm -hmm. on the outside. Gotcha. What, and what I mean by that is they will, they will cut a hole and they're just going to slap a window on mm -hmm. here. What you have to do is you have to go around each year and you have to seal the outside of that window with silicone. Interesting. If you don't, you could let water intrude the coach and then cause a lot of issues, right? Huh. You don't have to do that with these. Nice. These are installed inside of the, the wall, if you will, so you don't have to go over. There's, there's no maintenance, right? That's it looks smart. a lot sharper. Uh, yeah. that, that comes with the tent as well. Cool. It, and uh, very, For the privacy and everything? Yes, but very little maintenance. That's the, that's the key to, cool. to the frameless windows. And I so. see that along with the Bluetooth speakers, you got the hookup for a TV yeah. outside, yeah. so you can have an outside entertainment system. Exactly. Yeah, you see the little satellite uh, port gotcha. there. Little, little, um, Some yep. power. <laughs> yep, oh, we're power. in the way a little bit, but yeah, um, the, these nice RV wholesaler chairs, <laughs> beautiful. The really cool thing about the uh, the TV mount, you can just bring it from the inside and put it on the outside. No way, you yeah. can just pick it up and move it. You don't have to. Ooh. You don't have to bring a, an additional TV with you that's going to be rolling around and, you're, and taking up storage. Just bring that one from the inside out. One here. and done. Yep, Love exactly. That. That's yep. excellent. Cool. Anything else we should feature out here before? Oh, I had a question about these stairs. This yeah. is a. This is like a quick release down here. Is that what this does? Pretty much. So basically, see how it just folds right into the in, the uh, door there? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And it's just going to kind of snap into place, just like that. Nice. Uh, really nice. So it's going to be a lot more solid, right? Yeah. Uh, typically, when you walk inside of a trailer, it you know the step doesn't touch the ground, so now it takes the bottom of the trailer with it, right? Yeah. This is just going to be a solid entry step. Hey, that's gonna, easy. Yes. Very easy. Yes. Exactly. Cool. 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 Yep. All right. Why don't we check out the inside? Here we go. Okay, stepped inside the Rockwood Brew 19. We're going to see some more about what's going on inside. Tell us, Josh. So, guys, just right inside the entry door here, uh, you're going to notice one of the uh, tent fold outs, okay? So it's going to be the same size bed on each side. This is very nice. If you guys are pulling over on the side of the road, you need a place to hang out real quick. This takes just a couple moments to fold out. Um, a lot of people use the dinette and the couch for that as well, but just, just more sleeping space and everything. Um, kind of to mention here as well, conveniently located right inside the door, you're going to have all of your control panels, okay? Um, you're going to notice the thermostats on the wall here, and then all of your um, status indicators, you know, uh, how, how much charge on, is on the battery, what the... Um, uh, tanks are reading, you know, how much water you have left over to use, your awnings, all of your lights, all of that stuff, guys. So, mm. uh, just just really cool. They all come with, uh, they're, they're prepped for the solar panels as well. Those plug right into the side. So and that's an option? It's an option. Yeah, the, the solar panel is, but the prep is a standard. Gotcha. So, so that way, if you ever need it, it the, the, the hard work's done for you, you know. Good so. to know. Good to know. And then when, if, when you need to take, take a, a shower, once you got your solar running, <laughs> here you are, right in this, ooh, that's cool. 
I like that it's it's uh, a circle as opposed to just like flat because yeah. you got more space in here. Plenty of room there for you. Yes, sir. Nice, nice skylight little, too. Is that well for a, a gentleman of your stature? Yeah. They give you a little skylight for some extra clearance there. That's yes, nice. sir. I don't have to shower like this. You're right. That's great. <laughs> nice size bathroom. You got some storage above the toilet here too. Well, wow, that's a lot. You can do towels. You can do all of your toiletries, anything like that. And behind the mirror, you got some more storage. I've always liked that they do this in here. They have these little toothbrush holders. Yeah. I would want to put those in my house. I don't right. know why I haven't yet. But <laughs> it's super nice because you can just pop them in there. That's Small uh, details. That's lot, what it is. A lot of, lot of people get uh, very excited about those little things, and it, it's, it, it certainly would, makes a difference. We yes. talked about in another walkthrough, too, about how, like, a lot of people are like, where am I going to put my trash can? And that's mm -hmm. a really important yeah. question that you answer, but that's nice. Okay, so we're in the kitchen here. Yeah, so kitchen appliances, you got everything you need here. Fridge will be behind you, okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, this, is the, this is the newer Dometic style here. It's the gas and electric. They've been doing this one for quite some time. Hmm. You can see uh, all of the goodies that come with the RV. Yeah. Tire, um, the... Uh, tire monitor pressuring system right. that way you can uh, monitor the pressure of the tires while you're traveling you nice. don't want them to get too uh, under inflated or over inflated while they're Definitely. heating up there i see you got some manuals in there too yeah. that's nice comes with everything yes sir you said gas and electric that's so you can switch between yes exactly yep nice. so so you'll have the option to to uh, travel with the gas on while you're going down the road then when you get to the park you can you can run it off of either so yes sir excellent it makes so it pretty some nice pantry space here yeah. oh this is hanging closet too you can do whatever you'd like you i i actually there. have customers that have added shelves in there you know, really? just just for more canned goods and stuff like that. That's just little idea. things. Yeah. Good use of pantry space. Of course. Even more down here, maybe for some shoe storage right. if you choose. Yes. Cool, cool. But got and then uh, kitchen. I mean, all of your your uh, standard appliances: a larger microwave, dual basin sink, uh, nice little little uh, I like the faucet there. Finish on the faucet too. Yes. That's nice. These uh, are pretty deep. For not that this is a small unit, because sure. it's not, but for this size unit, I feel like you got some good sink space. Take uh, every inch that they can and, and do as do as much with it as they can. Absolutely. And this follows all the way through this piece, so you can fit some big stuff in these storage containers as well. Awesome. Got a uh, triple burner here, so this is really cool here, Duncan. This is going to fold up. That way, if you're cooking any soups or anything with greases, you kind of have a backsplash too. Excellent. You know what I mean? But and then um, this is a little bit larger oven than what we typically see on a unit of this size. Yeah. But hey, make no mistake, that's going to be a great oh, thing. Wow. To, oh yeah, so the, uh, you can put these on the sink here. That cool. way, you can have additional prep space, right? Am I doing this the right way? This I, way? Yeah, yeah, it looks good enough. Nice. Yeah, there you go. That's, yeah. that's cool. Plus, you could like cut your veggies here. Exactly. And it falls down in. Those exactly. You uh, drying rack. your plate. Yeah, drying rack. Exactly. Yep. Cool. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Okay, other side of the RV here. What do we got going? Let's talk about tech. My favorite. Thing. Cool. So, uh, as you can see, pretty standard um, yeah. uh, radio, for, uh, you know, standard head unit here, right. HDMI cord, it's a little charger port, uh, auxiliary, um, like we were looking on the outside speakers. Uh, <laughs> Didn't want that. That's yeah. okay, though. Uh, as, as we were talking about the outside yeah. speakers, it's got multiple zones. So, okay. so you can put the zones in here. You see the speakers on the uh, the ceiling. Yeah, and then, then you can, uh, you know, execute it on the outside as well, nice. just in case you're watching the game. Like, uh, And then the television that we were referring to. Um, guys, these will come with TVs. We just removed them just for you know we don't want them to get damaged while they're sitting here on the lot um, so uh, it will be installed but basically that's the TV that you can pop off of the inside huh. take it on the outside be able to watch the game underneath the awning and not this has uh, got some tilt to it it looks like too right yes of course full functional bracket it'll pull out tilt any way you like that way you're not breaking your neck to, to nice. be able to see it, the uh, television so that's nice yes sir Good. it pops out you got some storage for some of your tech needs too yeah. like if you're gonna put your your uh, video game systems, DVD sure. players, that kind of stuff. You sure. can fit in as well. That's cool. All right, that looks great. So let's talk about 4G, a mobile office kind of capability. Yeah. In this. So uh, they, with all Rockwood products right now, yeah. they are giving you the 4G capable um, mobile hotspot, basically. Cool. So what, nice. what happens is if you guys are at a campgrounds, right, and they have available Wi-Fi, you can hook up to that, and now it's going to pull that connection, making you stronger. That way you can uh, be able to access those those uh, you know tech tech pieces, your iPads, things like that. Check the email. Do your business work. Uh, all of those things accordingly. So very, very cool. Super yep. smart. Very That's really cool. good. So you got a bed here, right? Yeah. You did one bed in the front. This is bed two. This will be, well, so uh, like I said, lots of sleeping arrangements. They're using the most of the, the, the space that they yeah, give you, definitely. right? Um, this is pretty cool. Let me show you how this okay, works. So see. this will be the folding dinette, right? Yeah. This table is going to go downwards, okay? And it's going to have some places oh, sweet. to sit right there, right? Okay, yeah. And then if you'd like to follow my lead here and take these cushions and put them in the center. So there you here, got a bed. 
up here is a really nice, again, for those people that just want to pull over, they've had a long trip, yeah. and they don't want to fold these tent pop apps out, perfect little spot to sit. But check this out. It gets a little bit better. No way. There's more? There's going to be another bed right here. It might it might, uh, might get you, but just to give you an idea oh, here. Oh, it's going to get me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just to give you an idea here, now we have two sleeping arrangements. It just it makes it really easy for wow. the people that want to just, just hop in, take a quick nap, and then get back to where they were going. You know what I mean? And for an extra tall person, you can just lay across both. Well, no, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it looks like you can fit a lot of people in here. Yeah. And there is, a, is some storage under here and everything, too. That's what you saw on the outside, that exterior door. Right. That'll lead underneath right. here. You can nice. access it from there as well. So cool. And then, kind of, I mean, right behind you. Um, like you're talking about is the same size bed as the front yeah. over there. Yep, yep. It'll just have one on each side there. Yeah, so same size bed as you said in the other pop-out, correct? Mm -hmm. Is that what they're called, pop-outs? Yeah, tent, tent pop-out. I, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, sleeping arrangement, whatever you want to refer to it as. There's a lot of terminology in the RV industry, right? But yeah, it's all excellent. it's all the same. <laughs> so what a cool layout. But um, I'm, I'm thankful for you showing us. If you have any questions, don't forget down below or wherever you're watching this to ask those questions to anybody who sells this, including Josh. They got the answers. They're going to be able to walk you through anything you don't know and even maybe talk about some of those other arrangements as well. So anything else you got for us, Josh, on this one? Well, I tell you what, um, for those that really like to stay off the grid, yeah. okay, there's a lot of really cool things that they do. Yeah. Um, as I'm sure you understand, out in the middle of nowhere, there's not going to be a receptacle to plug in your... Um, shore power to to have your air conditioner and things like that so uh, a couple other cool things that they have done aside from the 4g capabilities yeah. aside from the solar panel capabilities um these max air fans i thought oh, are yeah. really cool and uh, we, we, we also missed another thing all of the windows here uh, have zippers too so gotcha. the you know b one of the biggest things is to keep that air circulating to keep the things um cooled down on the inside right. when you get done with your bike That's ride or, or whatever doing, yeah. Yep, so we actually have the fan turn on. You can feel that breeze kind of kind of pulling. Um, yeah, check this out. I brought a little uh, demonstration tool. Ready for this? See, it's pulling all that air out. Yeah. <laughs> Super nice. Sorry, I just wanted to try. I've always wanted to try that. It's good, though, but you can definitely feel it's yeah, sucking out hot Yeah, you can out, definitely feel it. You don't have to run your air conditioner. You can still be comfortable, right? Yeah. So th this is just one of the perfect boondocking floor plans. Yeah. It doesn't take a huge truck to pull something like this. Because yeah, what, it's 26 feet? Is that right? 20, 20? You're, you're, at, uh, you're closer to about 22 feet 22 in a box feet? length. Yep. Wow, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very uh, compact floor plan. It's very lightweight. You don't need a big truck to pull something like this, and they're not very expensive either. This is, this is one of the best bang for the buck RVs, nice. and the quality that you receive from Rockwood is yeah. second to none. Yeah. I, can't, I can't speak high enough about Rockwood. I, they, we really love their products. That's so. huge. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging this this layout and the way they made it look as well. What, what's uh, what, Give me an example of a truck you can pull this with. Like, what's the smallest you can pull this with? So, I, um, I the the small, uh, they're, they're making really compact, like, a, take a Toyota 4Runner, okay. for example, yeah. right? Something that would have a towing capacity of closer to, like, 5,000 pounds. Gotcha. And, but a very economically reasonable vehicle that you don't need to, you know, you, you, don't, you don't have to have a 20-foot truck that, that can take a house down with you. This is very comfortable for plan that can fit on a lot of different uh, uh, you know receivers on a lot of different SUVs and smaller trucks and and, and uh, you know accordingly so. that's nice yeah, yeah I think the thing that blows me away the most is that you can have four beds in here all yeah months. literally yeah. crazy but that's cool so once again hit us up if you need anything let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one thanks guys